Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. Breath of the Wild with me, Get Daved. Let's uh, get some bees. Not the bees! It's nice that we didn't have to deal with their uh, furious swarms. Oops. And I do like apples. Whatever, we just picked up three hearts. Now it's three and a quarter. I'm getting swept downstream. It was a trap and I walked right into it. I'll take a traveler's sword. They're allegedly durable. Alright, and there was a house that would have been interesting to walk inside, so... Once I'm done shrimming up and examining the fortification. Who are you? Uh, yeah. Ooh. Tell me more. As soon as I actually make a discovery. Yeah, I called you doctor. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> You're welcome. Tell me where they all are. To purge the seal from the shrine. Shoot an arrow at something is what I got from that. The cursed statue. How interesting. They're doing a good job of having uh, some change-ups on the shrines. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh. Curse statue's eye. Hey! I can sleep in his bed! I can't rob him, though. All right, let's get out of here. Also, we're in uncharted territory. And way off the beaten track. Okay, I'm gonna run into Babinga Forest. Because last time I ran into a forest, it worked out quite nicely. Oh, Tana was, uh... A little side trip. We'll be back. Oh yeah, I forgot we can loot all of these things. I wonder if they're gonna get mad at me for looting all of them. Ancient gears. Ancient screw. All right. Everything's fine. Okay. Well, I didn't know for sure what happens when they fire, and now I do. Is this the one? Can't help but notice you didn't shoot at the birds. It'd be nice if there was some sort of hint, actually, like the birds stay away from just one. Oh, this is too fascinating, and it leads me away from something I'm afraid of. Also known as win-win.
All right, nothing to see here. 8.30 a.m. and we're getting these sorts of keys? It's a bad sign. Yep. A luminous stone. I can make special clothing out of it. Rope? Okay. Apparently I need to take everything seriously. Uh, glad I don't have those extra hearts I could have. Just gonna put a little skull icon there and pretend none of this ever happened. This is gonna end well, don't worry about it. Blessed lookout spot. Oh, no. Nothing quite like speaking too soon. All right, on to the blessed lookout spot. Well, that's crazy. Just that short little hill took everything we had. Alright, this is catching my eye. It's probably nothing. Well, what have we here? Something useless! I always get tempted into thinking, Armoranth. I like that it has armor in its name. All right, one of you will do. So glad I don't have a horse anymore. All right, the Pillars of Levia. Uh, this looks impossible to climb. Maybe we can get a better angle on it from the other side. This is hilarious. Yeah, I can see you. A giant coral rock. You lost a bunch of coral rocks? Oh. Let's go get some maracas. By which I mean kill. Hey, man! I like that there's people all around in the world as well. It's such a nice touch. I will take your crab, thank you. Uh, Big fan of the crabs. Oh. Mm. 
Yeah, you did hear something. Oh. Uh-oh. I thought it said Traveler is a uh, shield. So much dramatic slowdown. Man, these are pretty durable, so this is bonkers. Jeez. He got rocked falling down that ledge. Okay. This ought to do it. I'm definitely gonna make more uh, small scale fruit next time. And I will take your stuff, thank you. I think I found myself some maracas. Time to forget about that forever. He's at least 100 now, so I guess they had sentimental value. Ooh. Don't mind me. I guess these slid an awful long way. All right, Hestu, I've got your stuff. Of course. Okay, what's your power? And do you need your Koroks back? Aha. I have two. Oh my goodness. I wonder if I'm going to need, like, ten for the next level. Oh my goodness. Uh, weapon stash, probably. <laughs> Music content ID. Yay! Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Okay, I didn't actually... Oh, no. Well, it's, it doesn't... Ugh. I only have one. Well, we need to... We need to mark this. I guess we'll... I know, that looks like it means a uh, rock resource, but not to me. To me it means a good thing, and I already used stars to represent unknowns. We should be able to pretty much see Kakariko. And I'm just trying to see if I can find anything noteworthy. And no, deactivated towers don't count. All right, well, hopefully this works. Yeah, sure. Oh, uh, now we're talking. Just gently massage a map pin into place. And this should be a piece of cake. It's even on our way. It would be pretty awesome if I could hit that goat. I 
All right, we found Kakariko, but it was pinging back here. You all heard it. There is a distinct pinging sound. Maybe that was just us. Yeah, that's gotta be us moving closer to the one I already knew about. All right, we're on the right track. Yes, it would be wonderful to check out this village, but we've got heart containers to worry about. Also, this will give me a quick travel location, which is pretty much just as valuable. I'm less excited to uh, torment Kuko's. Just because I, you know, stand to lose something, aside from my life, which was always a big possibility. All right, a convenient quick travel for Kakariko, everyone. I like how they place them all like that, and it gives you sort of a guaranteed reward whenever you find a new town. Because every settlement we found has a nice little quick travel location. Map pins. All right, what do we got? Tallow nags teach it. Hmm. I was getting ready to be shot in the back with an arrow there, just so you know. An eight-fold blade. I had a feeling it would be that one. We don't have room for any more shields. All right, we've got some good stuff. Use a side hop, okay. if all of these were mapped to the B button, Zelda. <laughs> Alright, we got the Matrix time. Oh, I gotta keep hammering it. with your shield at just the right time. Okay. That's what we were doing into that wall before. Come on. One more try. I guess we got him. We know all about this one. Ooh. It's not very durable. How is it not durable? It's made out of hard light. All right, well, I approve of this trial. 
seem durable enough for that guy. Boko Club. Well, either way, we got some pretty cool equipment. And I've, yeah, I've totally got the Hyperlight Drifter Sword. And I'm okay with that. Yay, Opal! Alright, looking good. I like your bandana. Ooh. A subverted prophecy. Good news, everyone. And I guess I'm gonna have to zip back to uh, upgrade my hearts, because that is definitely the next plan. I've got lots of jam. Yay! So pretty. <laughs> nice, I like how kind of gross. Subtle effect. Yeah, we're doing two for one here. You'll never see me fight with just four hearts. All right, now back to Kakariko. We're gonna meet Impa, we're gonna explore the town. Gonna make lots of friends. Huh? All right, we're gonna work our work our way out from here. Yeah, might as well talk to Impa first, I guess. Don't mind me, I'm not breaking in. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was Lynn. This is Justin Lynn. She seems confident. Yeah, but there might be something hidden behind. Like a glorious waterfall. Looks like death if I go down there. Nice. Opened with style. So, you're finally awake. Don't laugh. This has been quite a long time. <laughs> I am much older now, but you remember me, don't you? Nope. Maybe he does. We didn't remember the king. Huh? Yep. <laughs> Yay! I won't remember the feeling of dying. Oh. Hmm. Oh, poor thing. I hope you taught someone else. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, hit me. That's what I'm all about. Do. We already got a pretty good recap from King Hyrule. I wonder if Link could have just BS'd recounting that. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. Welcome to the trailer. A evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. They just spoiled every other game. With the passage of time, each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you Ooh. this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Which game are we gonna get? The goddess Hylia? Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Oh, we're way in the future. The most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. It worked famously. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. And nothing ever goes wrong with autonomous weaponry. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. But that's 10,000 years ago. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. But... The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero <laughs> as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And great success? I'm glad they were protecting the hero, not the princess. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. Whatever you do, don't kill him. We'll never get another Zelda game. Weaponize. It still looks like they had some sort of technological regression in between 10,000 years ago and 100. Okay. So we got desert people, birds, rock dudes, and fish people. Oh. All right, a dungeon. I have to go exploring, oh.
seems legit. She's gonna upgrade the ram? I'll ask anyway. Ooh. All I have to go is further along that death march. You'd think people would have moved there, but... But I want to go help Zelda. I mean, look, I'm not going to fault them. Yeah, sure. Uh... I'm not going to give him a hard time because the game has turned out so marvelous, marvelously, but early in development, like everyone thought, hey, Link's a girl in this one and stuff like that, and Ooh. yeah, I don't believe you. Um, you know, he was like, well, if, you know, Zelda's female and Link's male, and if we make, you know, Zelda the hero, then what does Link do? And I always thought, uh, it'd be pretty cool if we had both of them as playable characters. Oh, what have I done? Oh, hey. I'll gladly trade some Boko Club durability for an arrow. Uh, Dark Cloud 2 had a really simple just switching between two characters uh, mechanic, I guess, and I thought it was great. We got peppers. Oh no, carrots, pardon me. Ah. Oh great. Remember, buy loco, folks. Alright, I guess it makes sense. They sell produce there. Some sort of potions here, perhaps. Just for selling my arrows? Ma. Oh, sweet. Cheap in arrows. Ma. Ma. Okay, this is either an inn. Ooh, it will just tell me. Shut eye inn. Now we're talking. I wonder if I'm gonna come across Tingle. Ooh. I like mysterious power. Tell me about it. Oh. Fine. You can try selling me stuff. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty great. Wait. I think she was just talking me up now. That's never happened to me before. Stealth chest guard. I already have clothes that have virtually no defense, thank you. From harsh sun and weather, seems prudent to have. We already have Hylian trousers, thank you very much. Stealth pants. 700. They're trying to score cash. All right, if we get the whole get up together, we will be pretty uh, chic like. All right, I 
was reluctant to do so. Oh, I think we can safely say we're never using these again. I mean, we could just unload a whole bunch of stuff. Eh. Not all of them, but almost all of them. You can have 50. What a great haul. Man, I can't believe I have to pay 60 for that stuff. Let's see now what the markup's like around these parts. All right, if we desperately need opal. All right, good to know. Ugh. What's the Clary collection? Later, Tater. Alright, I kind of want to know if the Hylian Tunic is something that you can find around. Because, I mean, they have the trousers, but... Yeah, it looks awesome. So I'm curious to see if she restocks with better stuff now. And I can't afford any of these. Okay, come back when we have a lot more cash. Noted. Aside from looking extremely feminine, I'm okay with it. Maybe we'll put my old bandana back on. I do have new clothes, thank you for noticing. Everything I always wanted. Alright, let's see if we can get ourselves some pumpkins. Some pump. Yeah, I'd love a pumpkin. I have no idea who they are. Oh, okay. Noted. Hmm. I accept your terms. Sure, I'll take a carrot too. Oh. It's a long story. like jokes. Oh, okay. Come back with that. I bet. <laughs> well, thank you. Come to my place when the day is done. Well, that's a long way away. Thought I saw a treasure chest, but to no avail. Alright, I think we've seen the sights. In the next episode, I think we're gonna try finding ourselves. Well, 
Guess we gotta go over there at some point. We could take a... The interesting route, though. Maybe we'll try that. I'll see you there, everyone.